Not watching such a beautiful match in one's life can be said to be bad luck for the concerned person. Yes, I was talking about the match between Afghanistan and Sri Lanka that ended today. This match was held today at the Gaddafi Stadium in Lahore, Pakistan because it is a very important match for both sides. This happened because Sri Lanka spent 39 overs chasing the target of 165 runs given by Bangladesh in the previous match. However, Sri Lanka had the upper hand in the match and they won the toss of the match. Do they decided to bat first? Giving a very good start to the Sri Lankan team, the opening batsman pair added a partnership of 63 runs. However, although their second and third wickets fell, Cherith A. Salanka and Kuzal Mendes managed to add 102 for the fourth wicket. However, Cherith was unfortunately dismissed while scoring 36, and three more wickets were lost shortly thereafter. Unfortunately, Kuzal Mendes runs out while scoring 92 runs. Captain Dason Shanaka, who has been fail for a long time, was also fail in this match. At that time, Sri Lanka had scored 226 runs with the loss of 7 wickets and turned the advantage of the match over to the Afghanistan team. However, young players Dunath Wellage and Mahesh Thikshana, who came on at the last minute, strengthened the Sri Lankan innings by adding 65 points for the 8th wicket. Mahesh Thikshana was dismissed in the last ball of the innings, but at that moment Sri Lanka lost 8 wickets and got 291 runs and were at a certain level. Gulbuddin Naib, who bowled very valuable for Afghanistan, managed to take 4 wickets. Although Sri Lanka scored 291 runs in 50 overs, Afghanistan had to score 292 runs in 37 overs and 1 ball to advance in the tournament. Afghanistan players came to the bat with the hope of achieving that goal and started hitting the ball. However, Ramanala Gurbaz, who was expected by all, was unfortunately dismissed when the scoreboard was only 10 runs. Then their second and third wickets fell at 27 and 50 respectively. Without a good start, the Afghanistan team was under a lot of pressure at that moment. Everyone thought that Sri Lanka would win this match very easily. However, it is after the fall of the third wicket of the Afghanistan players that this match draws everyone's attention. After that, Ramas Shah and Captain Hazmatullah Shahidi joined the field and attacked the Sri Lankan bowlers and scored the necessary points. However, the advantage of the match again turned to Sri Lanka when Ramas Shah, who had scored 45 runs, was dismissed by Kasun Rajitha. However, Muhammad Nabi, who entered the field after that, hit the Sri Lankan bowlers one after another and brought their scoreboard to a huge state, again adding the advantage of the match to the Afghanistan team. Muhammad Nabi faced only 32 balls and hit 5 sixes and 6 fours to score 65 runs. Unfortunately, when he got out, their scoreboard was 201 at the end of 26 overs and 3 balls. Then Kareem Janat was also dismissed after scoring 23 valuable runs. Rashid Khan was finally entrusted with their responsibility. They needed to score 15 runs in the last 7 balls where Rashid Khan managed to score 12 runs in the first 6 balls. However, Mujib Rahman wanted to get 3 runs from the first ball of the 38th over, which was executed by Dananjaya Silva, but he was out by that ball. Then, unexpectedly, their last wicket also fell. Kasun Rajitha took four wickets for the Sri Lankan team. Two wickets were taken by Dunath Wellilij and one wicket each by Mahish Thikshana and Mathisha Patharana. In this match, the Afghanistan team suffered more disadvantages due to a very misunderstanding at the last moment. If they fail to score three from the first ball of the 38th over, Majib takes one and gives the striker's end to Rashid Khan, who can hit the ball and he hits a four or a six off the second ball of this over. If it had been taken, the match could have turned again towards the Afghanistan group. Or if gets six run were scored in the third ball of the same season, the net run rate of both teams would have been the same. Then a toss is cast and the team that will advance is chosen but unfortunately Majib was out. After that Faruqi and Rashid entered the field and somehow scored 291 before the 38th over and hit a 6 off the first ball of the 39th over to increase the score to 297 and win the match and qualify for the Super 4. But they missed it at that moment. 
Similarly, the Afghanistan team did not have a good start, but they competed until the end. And Mohamed Nabi, who was not among the scorers, stood up for us to collect valuable points. It is a very valuable thing for the Afghanistan team. So we think that the Afghanistan team will compete very well in the next World Cup. However, Sri Lanka won this match, which was swinging from moment to moment for both teams.